good afternoon all. Well, today I'm supposed to be working on the house, but the sink didn't come in and I got everything done and I thought, well, I could uh, work on the yard or I can go to the mountains. Not a real hard decision. Well, we only have a little while today, so I thought, I want to go up in the high Sierras because it's not going to be long before, you know, we're late fall now and it won't be long before the snow runs us out of here. And I got to thinking, I'm wondering if I can ask her an old question. And that is, are the roads in California paved with gold? Well, I'm on a road in California and I'm up in an area where there's hydraulic pits on both sides of the road. And for the next, oh, I'm thinking it's like four or five miles, I have hydraulic pits, both sides of the road. So my mission today is to find where they have scraped the road down to bedrock and metal detect that bedrock. Well, I was in here about a year ago and right behind me here, I found a piece of gold in the bedrock in the road. And I don't know if you heard that or not, but there's something really big down in the brush over there. So uh, I, might, I might give it a few before I get out of the truck. Well, what I'm gonna do is, even though I've already detected that, I'm gonna check it with the, the new mine lab. I'm gonna go over that real quick. And if we don't find anything there, we're just basically gonna drive up this road and any place where I see bedrock exposed, we're gonna stop and detect it. See if we can pick up a little gold. Okay, let's get to work. Now today, we are working with a bit of a handicap. No headphones. I, I had the uh, sending unit plugged into the charger and today wasn't really a planned trip. So I just kind of grabbed everything and ran out of the house. And once I got up here, I discovered I got no, well, I got headphones, but they won't work without that baby. So luckily it's nice and quiet up here. So we should be fine with the speaker. Okay, well, right here is the bedrock. Let me show you what, what we're doing. Now all this is uh, bedrock and it's not busted up. Even the low spots are smooth. So I'm thinking this is old river bottom. And like I say, we have hydraulic diggings both sides. So we'll give her a go. Now I have picked out a piece of gold out of this, this chunk right here somewhere a year ago. So let's see if we can get another one. And I've been working quite a bit of this area and this is my first target. Well, let's see what we got. And that was it. Little tiny piece of iron. Okay, keep going. Oh, and uh, definitely, most definitely, fill and pack your holes back up. We got 11 pieces of, little tiny pieces of iron out of there. No gold, so we're gonna head on up the road See if we can find another spot. We've gone up the road, I don't know, a couple hundred feet, and there's a little section right in here. And a target right there that sounds pretty good. 
Okay, let's see if we moved it. Yep. Oh, there it is. Got it on the magnet. No peak iron. Well, so far, all we've proven is the uh, streets of California are paved in iron. So we're heading on up, see if we can find another chunk. We've traveled about, I'm guessing, a mile up the road and have a real small section of bedrock exposed here. And there might be one over there. I can't quite tell from here, but it'll only take a second. We're going to check this one and see what we come up with. Well, that's my first section. It was completely clean with nothing in it. Okay, heading on up the road. I'm probably, I'm guessing two, maybe three miles further up the road. I've passed some beautiful spots, but nothing with the bedrock in the road. Now we got quite a bit of diggings uphill here. You can tell we got some nice big rocks in here, but this is bedrock right here. And right down there around the corner is more bedrock. So we're gonna give this a go. I, I really like the looks of this area. So let's see if we can find something other than iron. I think we got a, got a light target right there. Well, that goes down quite a way. I don't see anything on the magnet. Well, whatever it is, we dug it out. All right, I got it in our hand. Yep, a lead BB. All right, at least it wasn't a nail. Well, so far, no targets other than that lead, but I wanted to show you this. Look at the black sand that's on this magnet. I mean, that's, that's a lot of black sand and that's just from digging right there. So one good thing about this is I don't think anybody else has been fool enough to metal detect the road because uh, I'm finding targets that they should have picked up if they did. So, you know, basically, if I'm the first guy here, I got a better chance of finding gold. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything in this chunk of bedrock. Well, the first target, the square nail, Probably a good thing to get that out of the road. And there's another square nail. Let me guess, another nail. How did I know? I'm still digging targets, but I wanted to show you this one. I thought I had a piece of gold for sure. This is a little tiny piece of lead. And boy, I'm here to tell you, I thought I had a piece of gold on that one. Getting a few nails out of the road, but uh, the amount of black sand is unbelievable. I'm, uh, I think I might go get a bag and some of this stuff I'm digging out with all the black sand, I'm, I may take it home and pan it. I'm gonna go throw these in the back of the truck and grab me a plastic bag. Okay, I wanted to uh, turn the camera back on because I got two targets here. Real light one here. I don't know if you can hear that. Then one. 
That sounds like a nail. But there's another light one over here. Now they're probably more of the BBs, but let's dig them up and see what they are. We actually have us a crevice that's got gravel in it. Okay. I think I got it. Yep. Okay. I see gold. Where'd it go? Boy, that is a small piece of gold. <laughs> Got it. It's not a nugget. It's a flake. Let me show you. Right there. That thing is a flake. But it's gold. I'm not so sure that it was worth the half hour I spent to find it, but we got gold. Okay, uh, I'm going to get the jar because I can't put this down. I'll lose it again, so I'll be right back. Well, normally spending this many hours detecting and not finding any gold, I would say I was getting a little bit disheartened. But to be honest with you, I'm having a ball because I've been up here, we've been doing this about, I'm guessing like four hours now, and I'm on a road and I have not seen another soul since I've been here. I'm up, it's a beautiful day up in the mountains. I really don't care if I find any gold. I'm having a ball. And I'm gonna cheat a bit because right behind the camera, there's a little gully and there's some bedrock in that gully, and I'm going to go take a look at that. But first, we're going to dig these other two targets and see what they are. Right in there somewhere. Hopefully, we can find another crack like that other one. Well, it is a, it is a crack. Yep, that one was on iron. Okay, next one. And my guess is that's another hunk of iron. Yep, another chunk of iron. Get these two pieces of iron off here so I can keep track. Got it. see anything. Boy, I cannot see it. Oh, there it is. We have another piece of gold. That is a strange... That is a strange looking piece of gold. 
I'll try to get a close-up on this. This is a really weird looking piece of gold. I don't know if it's a rock. My eyes aren't good enough. I can't tell if it's a rock with gold sticking out of it. Or what it is. And I just dropped it. I had to go get the detector to find it again. But I got it. I'm gonna go put it in a jar. I'll be right back. Got that put it away. I'm getting back at it. I'm finding gold. That one's a little bit on the loud side. So it's probably another nail. All right, got it in the shovel. A brass screw, a little tiny brass screw. I thought sure we had another piece of gold. And I got a few more little tiny pieces on, no more big nails, just little pieces of a nail. Here and there, got two more BBs, and that was it. I do have a bag of concentrates that I'm gonna pan out. And it's getting late, and I really hate to leave because like I say, I've been here all day and I haven't seen another, I've been on a road all day and I haven't seen another vehicle. Well, right over there, I don't know if the camera's showing it very well or not, but there's some bedrock. And I'm gonna jump over there real quick, detect that. If I don't get anything over there, I'm gonna pack everything up, head for the house because I still got a, Oh, I'm guessing two hour, two and a half hour drive to get home. Okay, well, if I don't find anything over there, I'll see you back at the house. If I find something over there, I'll see you in a few. Well, we're back at the house. <laughs> it's, it's a couple of days later. Matter of fact, I just got home from work a couple minutes ago. Now they're calling for rain tomorrow, so I thought, I better get this bag panned out before uh, it's, uh, it's gotten really cold. It's been freezing in the morning. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I thought, eh, there's a little sunshine today, so we're gonna go ahead and get this panned out. So, got the tub ready. Let's pan this out and see if there's anything in it. I got a little, we got a little bit of soap in water. Break the surface tension. Now this is really dry, so you got to be very careful because uh, the material will float. So you want to get everything wet before you even think about panning. Okay, looks pretty good. Some black sand showing up. Okay, for that little tiny bag of sand, we got quite a bit of black sand. I'm surprised. Yeah, let's see if we can see if there's any gold in there. Well, it looks like we got one nice little chunk and several pieces. <laughs> Let me show you. Okay, you can see here that's a nice little chunky piece. And then we got, oh, I don't know, four or five pieces that are really small over in here. But uh, that's one nice little chunky piece and it still has the, uh, still has um, some of the packed material on it. Well, that's kind of a cool find. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, 
That means we definitely got to go back up there. Now the storm coming in may shut us out, but uh, I'm going to clean this up the rest of the way, dry it out, take it in, and we'll throw it in with the other stuff and weigh it up, see how we did. Feels kind of good to get back in the house. It's, it's getting a little cool out there. Okay, well, let's uh, throw the gold on the scale. Now, I got it all cleaned up. Now, I, I didn't mess with the, the real fine stuff, just the stuff I could pick up. Basically three pieces. So let's throw it on the scale and uh, see how we did. Okay, let's throw our three pieces on the scale. And we, it looks like we're going to end up with 0.64 grams. Okay, I wanted to give you a close-up of this piece of gold here. This thing is uh, really kind of interesting. It looks like it's got a little pile of crystalline gold in the middle of a piece of gold. A little bit over half a gram. You know, normally that would not be uh, a very good day, but I'm actually really kind of excited about that, that uh, one area right there because... Yeah, you look at the amount of amount of gravel we panned was pretty darn small. And the fact that we dug it out of a road, I'm really kind of itching now to get back up there, look on the hillside a little bit, look at the road a little more, and uh, see what we can find as far as bedrock. Now that bedrock that I went over and detected on the other side of the, the gully there, nothing. There was no workings over there, nothing. It was just a chunk of bedrock on a hillside and basically no targets at all. So it pretty much ends there at the road, but now I'm kind of curious to, if I go the other way, what I'm gonna find. So I'm really kind of kind of wanting to get back up there. I'm gonna give Jeff a call, see if, uh, if the storm's not too bad, see if we can make a run up there after the storm and give that uh, area another another looking uh problem is we got more storms in the forecast so I, our window is pretty small here so we're gonna make a run for it if we can okay well that's pretty much all i got on this one so i'm out of here you guys have a wonderful day